Hey guys, Darth Glowick here, back with part 13 of our Fallout 4 playthrough. So last time we went, uh, we, we done, we were done deadly scrapped with the mechanist. We crushed her stupid face, especially because we tricked her into taking off her helmet and we just domed her in the face of the shotgun. So that worked well. And, uh, Glorick got some new upgrades looking like a freak like always, but it's fine because I also did some looking up and I have discovered some things, people. Check this out. So first, let's go find, there we are, the Mechanist Lair. It turns out I am a stupid. Um, and, uh, <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's, it's interesting, all right? It's actually interesting because, so there is more to the Mechanist Lair than we saw. Uh, I missed a section, so my bad. Um, but I figured out why the why we couldn't find that I bought thing It's because there is uh, blueprints and you have to find the blueprints to make it worth anything. So it's it's just funny because uh, Yeah, it's just funny because uh, We uh, we missed her room the, the you know the mechanist I think her real name was Isabella or something We we missed her room and her room has like the the, the plans and the upgrades and all this other stuff. Now we have to find it. Now I'm trying to remember where it is. Is this where we came in? Yes, that's where we came in. Okay. So that's the way out. I feel like it's got to be up, right? Because there's not too much else going on here. So let's see. We're fine. Calm yourself. I'm wondering if it's on the other side. We'll take a little peek. I almost felt like it was like back there. So, oh, hang on. I was about to say, hang on. I was about to say, I thought I remember that. I was like, wasn't it like, I thought I remember like, like a little room or something. Wasn't there, there, I think it's in there somewhere. Hang on. Am I just really stupid? Is it just like, like on the right side of the main room? Man, that's going to be, that's going to be awkward. Oh, wow. I'm just, sorry, y'all. I can't help it. I'm, it's just so, so dumb. Burnt technical manual, which means it's worthless. There's an overdue book, which I guess we'll take. Yep, this is what we were looking for, peeps. We're just going to empty this whole place, because I don't know if I'll use the Mechanist Lair. I lean towards probably not. So we're going to loot this place dry, because odds are we're not going to... Nothing that stays here has a point, so... Oh, man. Look at all the cool toys. Take all of that. iPod... There, we, there it is, people. iPod. There's iBot Pod Schematics. Freaking nailed it, dude. How exciting. Oil canister. Freaking nailed it, my dude. Been anything Sweet. good? Nope. Well, it was free experience. So that kind of makes it good, right, team? Bobby pins. What else we got? Duct tape. We'll take those. Take that. Cutting board is literally just wood, so we don't need it. We'll take those. Uh, we're not wearing combat armor. We don't need this. that drawing of the mechanist. Interesting. Well, sure, it doesn't weigh anything. Just take it. Mechanist log. Sure. Oh. Pfft. Let me out. It's too bright. All right. It's just something to read. Well, in that case, no thanks. If mom taught me anything, it's that reading is worthless. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Relax. Okay. Uh, nothing else too, too sexy in this room, but let's go ahead and head down here to the end of the hall. There's an elevator that goes to unknown places. Ah, here's a whole bunch of toys. So there's a weapons workbench. We'll take that. A couple of fuses. We'll take those because they have copper. Biometric scanner. Sure, let's take one. Coolant cap. I think that might be aluminum. Ooh, toolbox. That's probably going to have duct tape. Ugh. Probably going to have duct tape. Yes. Nice. Like I said, might as well just clean everything out because odds are I'm not going to connect it. I'm not going to use it. So you might as well take anything of value and leave. Ooh, fusion core, fusion cell, ammo, more ammo. Lovely. Back of cement. Oh, that was heavy. Gloric. Hey, look, there's something else here. Spotlight schematics. Hey, I can build spotlights. Cool. Hubris. Oh, I'm backing away. All right. Closer. Nailed it. Mechanist log. Uh, I'm not totally interested in, like, a lot of the hoobla, but... Mostly, I just kind of wanted to see 
if I like see any kind of mention on like you know oh hey there's a big old stash of schematics over here or whatever I don't expect that to be a thing but didn't look like it all right blur it get over here ah too close too close he's like letter of the law letter of the law I'm like too close all right here hold all my crap there you go what you do for me you can get out of my personal space but like close enough that I can select you but not so close that we're like in each other's faces all right here hold that all right, let's uh, let, let's GTFO people. I don't know where that leads, but I think I think that might lead back up top. Okay. Part of me wants to try it. Part of me says, "Ah, oh, screw it." Ah, uh, fine, I'll try it. What if it leads someplace sweet? What if, huh? What if? Huh, lols, too slow. Ha ha ha! I locked you out of the elevator. Going down, huh? Even lower? Oh. Oh, you guys remember this? So right at the beginning, the whole decontamination place, there was an elevator that I suppose we couldn't have used. I did, we couldn't use. I I don't remember even looking at it to be honest. But hey, at least we find out where it leads. I mean, honestly, it just kind of satisfies it satisfies curiosity more than anything else. So you know. But hey, we got what we needed. We got what we needed. Now we can now we can leave now. It, can't you tell? I think you could. This is one of the places that you're. Even if you're inside, you can teleport out of. I think. Pretty sure. Cool. Well, we. Hey, now we got that. Yes, you can. How about that? So let's go ahead and teleport back to sanctuary. Let's drop off. Let's go ahead and drop off. Or uh, let, let's see about. Well, first let's drop off. Let's drop off the junk. Uh, but more than that, let's see if we can build a iBot pod, and tell it to go find us something juicy. Oh yeah. Glory. I need, I need all that crap back. All right, uh, we'll just take everything. Give me, give me, give me. I don't want to hit take all just because I don't know. The few times that I do that, it's always a mistake, and I accidentally grabbed everything, and I'm way too overloaded, and it's always kind of annoying. So I kind of have this weird, like, aversion to it. <laughs> there we go. Hold all of that. Lovely. Now let's go ahead and drop off the carrot. I don't want it or need it. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Anything else we can drop off? Those are almost worth nothing anyway. We can drop those off. We can drop off one of those. We can drop off the ribeye steak. Yay! <clears throat> nice. Okay. Uh, right. To the building. Hey, there we go, people. See, something special. Something special. Should we just put it on this little on this little patio area? There we go. All right, we need power and it needs six. So let's go ahead and go to power, generators. We could build one of these and then a little one and connect them because anything else is, we could build a, a generator, a windmill generator, I mean, which would give us th three. We could build two of them, but it feels so much more subtle just to build one of these and then connect it. All right, where does this connect to? Okay, right there. So I, th I think this should work. Let's go there and then get a little one. Oh, let, let, let's turn him around though. Hang on. Okay, and then we're gonna grab this and flip it around. Beautiful. Now we're gonna connect it and then connect those. Hey, is it pretty? No, no, no. But it does its job. <coughs> Choking to death. It does its job. Okay. Uh, now we can tell it. Let's go scan for some. Go, go find me into some adhesive. There you go. See, you tell it to do something. It opens up. the the little eye of the little the little robot takes off and it goes and finds it for you. So eventually it'll it'll uh, report in and it'll tell us, hey, I found adhesive for you. So that's that that's pretty sweet. I don't I from what I I think what I read is it doesn't give you a lot of whatever it finds, but you know, and I mean any location is at least a little convenient, right? Okay, so well you know I I was thinking about this how funny it is. So a we have some we have way fewer achievements than I have on my personal playthrough which in some ways is funny that are not not achievements uh missions quests so that's the first funny thing the other funny thing that I was thinking of is how when I get on YouTube and I'm recording it like I'm always at this weird indecision of knowing where to go and what I should be doing but when I'm doing on my personal playthrough like it's super easy and simple I'm just like you know just a machine of efficiency 
And so it's just funny because <laughs> it's just funny because like sometimes it's difficult and then a lot of the time like for YouTube it seems to be oddly difficult and for everything else it's not. So I don't know what's up with that. Anyway. All right, well, let's go ahead and teleport down here and find the treasures of Jamaica Plain because there'll be uh, lots of good loot in there. And, you know, and in, it's fine. Anything that gets us new stuff, we, it can get us leveled and we can get lots of good loot, which would be pretty sweet. Sorry, I'm glancing at my phone. I'm seeing I have texts and whatnot. And I am notorious for not answering texts. Like, I, I almost always look at them, but I r rarely respond. So my family's always like, you know, did you get my text? And I'm like, I have no idea. And I look at my phone. Oh, yeah, look, two days ago, I got a text. <laughs> so, you know, you know, it's an issue. Anyway, there you go. See, and then it'll just tell you, recover the adhesive from Lake Kwanapapalawa. And then you, then you can just go pick it up. It's super awesome, and it doesn't cost you anything. So we'll be, we'll be, uh, we'll be you taking advantage of that, to be sure. All right, let's see. Oh, you think I don't see you, little, uh, I actually kind of, kind of don't. Oh, that's... Po it's hard to tell what is, uh... What is, you know, ghoul and what's just rock. Alright. Go ahead and switch to this. Also, we're gonna go see what he had. Oh, look, there's another one. And that one is uh, so obvious. It's so obvious. Dead. Hey, baseball. That'll have, uh, leather. Oh, I'll let you know. Don't you worry, Gord. Don't you worry, bro. Medex. Medex is Medex is nice. And isn't this like chain shut? I was about to say, yeah. I thought it was. Turns out it is. Are you chain shut? Nope. Well, oh, there was a sound delay there, but don't worry. You missed, idiot. I'm surprised that Molotov didn't count it as hitting me, considering I hit myself in the face. I was like, Glurk, I can't see him. I can't help you, dude. Spatula. I don't know what that highlights, but... Glurk. I was about to say, could you just kill him, please? You're embarrassing me. Ooh, duct tape. Uh, I don't know what eight ball is, like, what those are good for, but... Ooh, technical document. Eh, cigar box. We'll take that, I guess. Anything, uh... Ooh, look at this, people. Well, the good news is we found a way inside the church. The bad news is it's kind of a one-way trip. Oh, I fell! Oh, that just felt so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Silver hand note. Interesting. Oh, hang on. Let me, uh, let my mule in. There you go. You can come in now. It's so funny that I slipped and fell off. Luckily, I had, we have the top health thing, so our health is slowly regening, as you can see, so it's not that big a deal. I don't even need to consume anything for it. Ha ha ha. As you can see, we're uh, almost back to health again. So, uh, what did it say? Silver hand note. Silver hand note. Uh, let's see. See how it was all bugged out? It was showing me guns even though we were on the misc tab. Oi. Anyway, uh, let's see. Keep on going, keep going. Silver hand note. Oop, too far. Silver hand note. What do we got? Uh, Manifest said it was a Type V laser defense grid, practically military grade. Whatever's down there, the security's the real deal. Should be easy enough to let the others in, then reactivate the system, let the turrets deal with them. No need to get my hands dirty. Ah, uh, he was planning on betraying whoever he was with. Which, you know, it's a pretty good plan. It's a pretty good plan as far as betrayals are concerned. Bum, bum, bum. Interesting. An extinguisher. I think those are good for rubber and something else. Uh, nothing good there. Okay. I'm fully expecting there to be like an army of ghouls in here any second. Stim pack. Bum bum bum. Ooh, duct tape. Screw. 
Pencils don't weigh anything, so there's no reason not to take it. Da-da-da. Anything in this steeple? I doubt it, but... Ooh, I was wrong! And I'm so happy. Yes, gives you ammo. Nice. All right, beautiful. Easy. Hey look, no fall damage. Just like that. All right, well the good news is I have an ID now, so that should help me get in with no issue. Oh, lag spike and frame drop, beautiful. Some sort of weird shrine. Uh, just a mattress. Ooh. I was about to say, it's a mirror. Always check the mirrors. The mirrors are often full of bobby pins or ammo. That type of thing. Someone's gonna get killed. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Eat it. I hear him. There's more coming out. I know you're in there. What an idiot. Like, Glorix, like, cheering me on. Get him, ma'am! It's like, thank you. Broken lamp. I think baby rattles have rubber or something in them. I don't totally remember. I think, or maybe it's just plastic. I don't know. I don't know. Scar box. Some ghoul just stepped on a uh, mine. Hallucinogen is looking for things. Looking for people. Or it's hallucinogen or whatever. Probably mispronounced it, but whatever. Whatever. Well, I realize that the objective isn't this way. I'm looking for loot. Because there's a lot of... there's a, As you can see, there's a lot of buildings in this area, so... There's lots to see. Alright. So I just saw him come flying at me. I'm like, whoa! Take those... I think this is full of ghouls. Yeah, I hear him. Nice attack into the wall. I'm stuck on something inanimate. Yeah, I helped out. I helped out. Uh, shot glass. We need that. Ammo. We always need that. Hey, both of those will be good. Have some good leather. We already killed all those. Oh, Glorick, I'm all full, dude. Well, I found what I'm looking for. Someone to dump all my crap into. There we go. All of this is yours. Merry Christmas. Anything else super amazing? You know, like upstairs before we move on with our lives. Uh, shot glass. We'll take those. Flip ladder will have oil in it. Oh, hang on. I got an itch. Okay. Rads, but we're alive. Ooh, technical document. Uh, Sal's holotape. Uh, let's see. Combat armor. We don't care about combat armor. It doesn't look cool. Let's see. What are those two guns? 50. Wow. There's, a, there's already a 50 cal, guys. Dang. Mod-wise, I think we already had one, but it wasn't upgraded all the way. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and take it. That'll save us some time. And then combat armor, which we don't need. But wow, that was worth. All right. Anyway, uh, Sal's holotape. 
That's freaking awesome. Well, now we'll have a 50 cal after we dump some upgrades onto it. That'll be freaking sweet. Damn it. Worthless bastards. Scattered like rad roaches the moment they saw their first school. I've spent months prepping for this off. There's no way I'm backing out now. That treasure will be mine. Even if I have to dig it up with my own bare hands. Yes, there's a treasure down here. Whoa! Heads up. Comes sure. rocketing in. Go ahead and take a look. Comes flying in. Alright, uh, this. You can go ahead and hold on to that. It weighs a lot, and I don't want to carry it. And then... There we go. Can dump some junk onto you as well. There you go. Ooh. Oh, I thought I thought that was a, uh... Something else. Ooh, look, Mary's terminal. What do we got? Ooh, there's a safe in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and open it. Because there's no reason not to. Otherwise, nothing good. All right. Somewhere in here, there's a safe, Gloric. And they're not going to be able to hide it from me forever. Oh, there it is. And combat armor, combat rifle, which we already have, right? Yep. And isn't the combat rifle, does that fire the... Okay, that is actually this one. Yeah, see? There you go. We're good. All right, into the basement to find this so uh, so-called treasure. Let me take a sip to get my uh, clear my help clear my clear my, my throat up. All right, now uh, we took some rads. Well, let's just go ahead and wait. There might be more down here. In which case, we'll need to take more. So you might as well not bother. Ooh, ammo. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Pencils, of course, don't I weigh anything. We take as much as we can carry. Is this a joke to you, dude? Look alive. Over here. here. How about you go stand literally anywhere there's not loot? How about that? Literally every time you have a companion. This is why it's a lot of the time it's easier to be alone. If I didn't need a mule so bad, I'd leave you behind. Facilities logs. Eh, nothing good. Okay. It was unlocked. That's a good indicator that there's nothing good. Uh, all right. Knock, knock. Ooh, hot plate. 50 cal bullets. There's a master lock, which obviously we can't open. Obviously. Oh, I was like, what the heck was that noise? But it was the... It was the chair. It was the chairs. All right. Well, this way it is then. Interesting. Ooh, duct tape. Welcome to the treasures of Jamaica Plain. The security system is active. Please present your identification. Identification acknowledged. Welcome, Mayor. You're hey. What's funny is I, I remember of going going through there when I didn't find the ID. Going, I, I I think I remember doing that, or maybe I was just too dumb to see the card reader. But I think I remember going through this and having it be a really uh, unpleasant experience. There's lots of turrets, and there's just full of just full of pain. All right, give me a minute. Ooh, a toolbox. Ooh, a toolbox. Combination wrenches, I think, have screws or something in them. Problem is, I don't want to go to... Okay, this is a dead end, so we're good. Archives key. Hey, look, we're, uh, we opened that door. Flip lighter, I saw that. Uh, let's see that. There's some 50 cal bullets. Alarm clock. Bullets. Bullets. I saw that. There was a bullet there. Bullet. Hey, Glory. Look alive. You want to see if you can, uh... Grab anything useful. 
can't be done. But you're worthless then, you know that? I wonder why he says he can't do it. He has a lot picking module, and my other my other robot can do those things, so why can't he? Hmm? I just don't think he wants it bad enough. Uh alright. Alright. In we go. Huh. I thought I swore these things will attack you. Maybe they do it on the way out. I don't trust it. Oh. Am I wrong? Oh, I was wrong. For some reason I swore. I thought this was a trap door. Derby winning toy car. Excellent. Ooh, small chance. Send targets flying. Ooh. Championship bowling pin. Championship bowling ball. Look at all this pre-war stuff, man. Ruined history books. Holotape instructions. <laughs> That's just telling you what a holotape is. Gee, thank you. There's a uh, first holotape. Welcome to the treasures of Jamaica Plains. Within the walls of this time capsule, you, our descendants, will find the items and mementos we treasured in the year 2077. To you, 200 years in the future, these relics may seem quaint. But we hope that they will remind you of our place in history, and your own. As we laid the foundation for the world in which you live, so you too will lay a foundation for future generations. May that future be bright. On behalf of all of us in 2077, we wish you well. This is Mayor Alyssa Park, speaking for the town of Jamaica Plains. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a peek at this. We'll drop off our inventory. Allow you to play the holotapes included in this exhibit. Insert a holotape. Oh, okay. I got you. Uh. Hey. Stop dancing around. I like how she whistles at him like he's a dog. Just like, here, boy. I just dump all of this. And then dump off the World Series bat. Just because it's uh, our our melee weapon is already better than that. Let's go ahead and take a peek at it, but that'll just make it easier to find. Yeah, see, it does 44, and I think, and poison and bleeding damage. So yeah, and it's it's medium. That other one is slow, and it does like 26 or something. So yeah, it's just not uh, it's just not up to par. Oh, wrong way. This way. So yeah, it's just it's just not up to par, but. You know, it's cool to get it for mostly the lulls, and who knows, maybe it maybe we'll build the display and and uh, prop it up as like a look what I found. All right, somehow I've literally gone the wrong way. Ah, here we go. There's the exit. Well, cool. We found the uh, treasures of Jamaica Plain, the ones that uh, those gunners were trying so hard to get to, but alas, it appears that they aren't going to get to them. Ha ha. So. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to Sanctuary. We'll dump our inventory. We will uh, grab some mods. Uh, and we'll work on modding our 50 cal. Me thinks. Alright. This way. Back up top. All the way. There it is. Let's go. Forward. Oh, man. Oh, bother. And I don't know if we'll uh, go after the Vault 88 stuff next. Or if we'll uh, work work towards something else. Gort, there you are. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. Uh, hey. Are you, though? To your load. Yes, I am. Stop twitching. All right, take those, and then we'll take all of these. So much good loot. So much good loot. 
Beautiful. Now, I think, didn't I already have, there we go, yeah, the 50 cannon is what I was calling it. We'll take that because we're not, we are going to uh, kind of cannibalize it. 50 cannon, all right, anything that, that's not stock. The only one I think I probably did was the barrel. Yeah, there we go. Put the short barrel back on, now we can get rid of that. Um, but now, we can put the, uh, we can upgrade this. There we go. Put on the long, fancy barrel. Get rid of the bayonet, because having a bayonet on a sniper is ridiculous. We can get the muzzle brake, though. That will help a lot with recoil. Then, give me the fancy marksman stop. Stock, not stop. Now, the glow side is also not very good. Pup, give me a uh, long scope. Hey, fancy. Now, obviously, it's not as good as it can and will be, but... I mean, it's pretty close, though. This is really, it's really good already from zero to really good. Obviously, we we need a bigger magazine, but we don't have the, uh, I don't think we even have the perks for that. Any, I mean, we might have the perks for some of it, but well, obviously we don't have everything we need. So, uh, before we actually do that, let's go ahead and back up for a minute. Let's go ahead and back up. Let's go ahead and drop the 50 cannon. Boop. Then we're going to just scrap it just for easiness. There we go. Okay, now let's go in and then let's name this to the 50 cannon. Uh, nope, we're getting there. There we go. Hey, there we go. There we go, 50 cannon. Beautiful. We officially have our 50 cal. How exciting. Shut up, Aiden. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and drop off the the bat. We don't need it. Uh, let's see here. Anything else we picked up that we don't need? Tesla's coil. I don't think so. I think, we, I think we're using the rest of it. There we go. Okay. Uh, did we pop? Oh, we did not drop off our junk. Okay, well, let's do that. Drop off all of these. We're getting close. Problem weight wise, look at that. We're two pounds below. Two pounds. Actually, we're a little bit more after we drop off the mods. There we go. We're four pounds below. Excuse me. Could drop off that too. Well, we could probably lose a lot of this to be honest, but that's but hey, that's what Glorik's for. He, that's why he's the mule man. Drop off that for sure. Yeah, we'll lose some more of these here. That'll help. Drop off all those. There, that helped a lot. Was it, do we have more than one Nuka something or other? Oh, we, we only have Nuka Cherry. Okay, that's fine. All right, I guess that'll do for now. We're not, we don't have a lot of, you know, carry weight going for us, but for now, that's okay. All right, pocketed, pocketed, pocketed. This one's not pocketed, but we don't have enough adhesive to pocket to make it pocketed. We just have we have enough just enough adhesive to upgrade this. Well, let's go ahead and do it. There we go. Our armor's getting better slowly. Anything else uh, to drop off? No. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Now, miscellaneous wise. Let's see where that is. Oh, okay. All right, let's go ahead and go to the bunker here, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go to the bunker here, and then we'll make our way to this adhesive, and we'll see how difficult it is. Now, I know I have seen a Myrlurk Queen in this body of water, and so uh, I don't, we'll have to keep our eye out for that. Also, now that we have our new uh, 50 cal, let's go ahead and favorite it, and put it in its spot. Boop beautiful absolutely beautiful you guys can go ahead and see so here's our number one the black widow then our 50 cal which looks like the same to be fun to be pretty which is pretty funny but don't worry they're very they're very different now we actually have a uh, 328 50 cal bullets so that's pretty cool otherwise let's just go ahead and uh, actually we have we have way more of this all right let's go Oh, actually, we can go ahead and get rid of our uh, our rads now. Uh, rad right away. Then give me a water. 
get us back to full. Then we'll uh, see about working our way over here. But we, the closer we can say to the top-ish edge of the edge of this little area, I feel like the safer I will feel. And again, luckily we have the water perk, so we can a enter water without pain, and we can uh, we uh, can breathe underwater. So you know, there's no fear about drowning. Oh. Eat that, mole rat. There's also a big old thing of, of uh, trying to get cl just close enough to loot it, but not enough to get rats. Give me the hide. That'll have leather. Interesting. Whoa! Filthy coward, I can't hit him. Whoa, there is someone in my face. Hang on, don't panic. There we go. Woo! That was not a not not a pretty fight, but we got through it. Alright, well let's go ahead and take that. That'll drop help drop our weight. Give me one of those, and then give me one of those. Alright, give me those. I'll pick up a lot of this crap, but I'll dump a lot of it because uh, looks like there's not a lot of new stuff in here. So, okay, we didn't get any new mods. Let's go ahead and just drop them all. Uh, mods, drop that. Okay. Woo! Didn't expect that, did we? Oh, just a uh, some rando mercenary. Uh, yeah, we don't need anything in that dude has. Some random mercenary. Well, good luck to you. Rando dock. Mostly I wanted the experience of discovering it. Fishing tournament ad. That's pretty funny. Alright. Ah. You guys want to test our new 50 gal? You want to hear what a 50 gal sounds like? Yeah, pretty stinking sexy, huh? Nailed it. Beautiful. We don't need the meat. We don't need the meat. We got the meats. That's like the dumbest ad for, uh, who is it that has that? Is it Arby's? I don't know. One of them, but they're stupid. All right, give me that. Give me those ammo. Give me that ammo too, bar. Yeah, we'll be overloaded for a minute, but we'll, we'll dump it. It's fine. Ah, blast it. Try that again. Other way. Nailed it. Nice. Hey, adhesive. And then duct tape, wonder glue, yeah, big ol' big ol' thing of uh Sweet, that was good. Alright, let me um junk. What was the straight adhesive? Okay, so that was one, and then we got a duct tape, also worth one. We got uh worth five of that. Then we got two packs, so that's another eight, and then none, that's another four. Wow, yeah, that that was worth. Well hey, that works cool. The little thing I was reading was talking about how it's like not that good, but they were very wrong. I guess they underestimated how desperate you would be for adhesive. Shows them. Uh, water quality. Radioactive extreme. Yeah, that's not good. Glory. Hey. Hey. I'd be happy to. I have like way too much junk. Here, hold all those. Help if I can. Oh look, there's more. Lovely. Okay, now while we're in... Oh, wait, actually, let me, let me look at the map. I know what that is. Oh, yeah, that's that outpost. That's not actually 
a uh, radio tower. Don't be deceived, people. That is a, that, it's actually a little base. There's some raiders in it. It's not an actual outpost, so don't get too excited. All right, let's go ahead and let's go back. We're going to drop off our loot, and then we're going to mostly um, make as many things that we own pocketed as possible. So I think we should invest a little more in our armor. And then if we have any left over, we'll look at our guns. But I don't know if we'll have any left over. Always, Glorick. Always looking to lighten the load. Almost there. There we go. Drop all those. There we go. I think that's everything. Okay. Armor comes first. Uh, let's see. That's all. That's pocketed. Let's make that. Oh, actually, do we have enough for... Oh, we just... We need rank 2 armor for deep pocketed. So we'll go ahead and go pocketed. And then let's go ahead... Ooh, we can go studded leather. Which is the best we have. But we don't have enough leather to upgrade anymore. But... Which is the biggest problem. And I think that's why we're not going to have enough... Yeah, we don't have enough for the rest of it because we don't have any leather. Blast it. It's always something. Well, I mean, we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. No, we didn't have any mods to drop off, do we? No. Alright, well, let's spend our adhesive, adhesive on our guns, then. Uh, let's give it the large quick eject mag. Because we can. And then, let's see. Calibrated powerful. That one's already good. Long ported. That's fine. Compensating. That's good. Uh, that's as good as we can get in that regard. This one has advanced, which is, the, yep, the best going on. Ported. Marksman. Ooh, we can get one better. We can go a medium. Ooh, we could go drum mag. Yeah, let's get a drum mag for our shotgun. It's too good to pass up. That one already has the large, which is fine. That is powerful. Already has a drum mag as well. Lovely. Uh, I feel like that's already tricked out. And I don't know if we'll use how long we'll carry that, but we'll see. Yeah, there we go. Well, that was cool. We got a little more pocketed. It helped a little bit. And we got a little bit of upgrades for our guns. So, obviously, it was worth it. Okay. Now, uh, as far as what's next. We could just destroy the rogue robot. We could also... We could also work just towards Vault 88. Or we could go to, like, anywhere else. I mean, you know, the world is our oyster. What we're waiting on for main story is this one. And I'm not against hitting that. Um... I'm not against, I mean, that's the thing is right now I'm worried about the rads, but we do have a, uh, we do have a, uh, a suit though. So it's not like we would die. So it's good. I don't know if we should do vault 88 before we do anything else. I mean, we could, all right, let's just, let's just do it. It's, it's and I've mentioned this before. I mentioned this not earlier this episode, but it's just funny how like for YouTube I'm always like this indecision and I, I don't know what I should be doing and I always feel hesitant But when I'm doing the same thing on my other game like there's no hesitation Like I'm just blowing through and do, getting stuff done and it's just it's so not a big deal And that's why it's funny is because uh, it's because in this one It's like this giant issue and it's just funny because that's not at all a problem on for uh, when I'm not doing it for YouTube But you know Imperfect world. Imperfect world. Alright, so we'll head back to do Jamaica Plain. And we will uh, head towards Vault 88. Alright, come on, Glory. Stay with me, boy. Oh, I was like, what? Uh oh. Somewhere over here, there's a... Uh... That's the thing, though, is I don't have very good vision from here. Ah, there you are. Feel that, idiot? I was about to say, I couldn't see it. I was just hoping the auto-aim would give it to me. Saw that. Nice. All right, let's go over there and figure out the loot we just got from killing these idiots. Lag spike. Oh, it's glitching out. As I say, like, is it still alive? Combat armor. We don't need any of that. I wonder if we should grab the sack hood with hoses. I think I liked it better than uh, the one I'm wearing. Plus, you can't upgrade any like head like. You can't upgrade helmets or any kind of head thing, so it doesn't make a difference. 
this one this one weighs a little more that's really the only difference so here there you go i think i liked the sack hood with hoses more hang on put this back yeah i like that one more there you go they do the same thing one of them is just uh i was trying to like drag him out so it would stop making that noise but no such luck the guy's a regular sack hood which gives you no protection at least mine gives me a little bit of radiation wow this guy's been packed to pieces girl bar sorry hi little bird little freaky little uh freaky little bird take those wow look at him he's right at my feet hi <laughs> it's like look at him it's, i'm like having this little moment we're having a moment it's so cute all right oh i wonder if i should have grabbed my power armor I just remembered what's ahead. I wonder if I should grab my power armor. Well, we can discover a little bit more before we get too close, but yeah, I'm wondering if I should grab my power armor before I get, go too far. What? Oh, I thought Glork was like, ugh, and I'm like, what's your problem? Is that the only junk ahead? Oh, I guess so. You can hear gunfire. Some big's going down. We don't need that. Uh, don't need anything in there. Ow. Yeah, something's going down. You can hear gunfire in the distance. Oh, it's Brotherhood. Black Spike. That's for you. Don't worry, Brotherhood. I'm here to help you. Die, Gunners! Man, you picked the worst spot ever. What's wrong with you people? The Brotherhood, you guys like landed right in the middle of all of these guys? Run! Flee, Brotherhood, flee! Oh. Good save. Wow, look at these guys. They're so hardcore. Get them! Hey, that guy's in name. I hit him right in the face. Twice. Oh, I'm gonna go loot this guy. He had a name, therefore it means he's special. Eh. We're good. I was like, I'm stuck. Good. I set off a explosive. Some dead raiders. Cushions studded. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, a skull. We need that. Everyone's thinking, why do we need that? But like, eventually it'll make sense. Uh, jet. I guess we'll take that. Ooh. Ooh, another skull. It's like that too. Have to be careful though. Weight is we're super uh not doing awesome on weight, but flip! Everything is mined. Alright, don't worry, Brotherhood. I'm I'm here to help. But only because I'm trying to endear myself to them. Mischievous little wink. There's someone across from there, but we're going higher in this building first. Uh-oh, that vertebrate just crashed. You really want me to come back? Is that what you want? Did you rub my lamp? Did you wake me up? Correct. You're signed your neighbors. Looking forward to meeting you, seeing you, signed your neighbors. Foreboding. I want to find the dude with the name. Aw. 
The worst part is the, is the delay, where it like sits on silence so you can like whatever, absorb your failure. Got it. I think I hate that the most. It's just like, I get it, I failed. Oh, there he is. What's up, failed guy? I mean, dead guy? What, what was good stuff? Uh, nothing good. Ooh, look at all the ammo. Is that somebody? Oh. Maybe he's lower, and maybe he's in this building, maybe not. This should be funny. That's for you. I was like, here, this is for you. Give me the ammo. Ah! Ooh. Well, I tried to help the Brotherhood as much as I could. Let's see about heading across. There's more shooting going on, but we're looting. We're in the middle of something. Anything else I should know about? There's so much ammo. I'm so happy. Gas mask, combat armor. Uh, ooh. Take those. Ah, oh, jeez. Woo! And what's the top? Exterminator's laser rifle. Does 50% more damage against Mirelurks and bugs. Yeah, no thanks. But I dare you, sissy boy! I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looting. I don't have time for you. Hey, man. Look alive. Let's take a look at what you've got. Yes, please do. Here. Hold on to my skulls. He's like, why are you holding those? Like, don't ask questions, Gloric. Ooh. Desk fan will have screws. Which, is, funnily enough, screws aren't even the biggest, our biggest problem. Let's see if we can find our way out. Well, I mean, I don't know if the Brotherhood won, because their vertebrate went down. I don't know where the rest of them went, but... Ah. I think we're getting close. Is that... I don't remember. Is that... Is that... The start of it? Oh, yep, that's it. That is the uh, start of Vault 88, so I do wonder if we should bring our power armor first. Because there is some, like, some rads and stuff down there. Before you get close... Wonder if I should do that. <laughs> Mannequin head. Or actually I think I think it's a real head, but whatever. Okay. Gloric. I know you're here somewhere, boy. I can hear your treads. There you are. Hey. Look alive. Glad to be of service. Here, hold that. Yeah, I, I wonder if I should grab my power armor. There's some serious rads ahead. Which is a thing. Oh, let's see. Part of me is tempted to just grab my power armor and go towards the go into our main story mission. <laughs> to be honest with you, because I have power armor and I have Rad Away and and Rad X, so it's like I'm super tempted just to head towards that. Cause like, yeah, I feel like I feel like that's probably okay. Eventually, we'll do Vault 88. It's not going anywhere. Besides, we, we got some good loot down there. We got some super sweet loot down there, yo. Oh. He's not gonna have anything. Hey. Hope you find what you're looking for. Whistles to him like he's a puppy. Shut up, Kate. 
don't care what you would do. Idiot! Alright. Uh, let's see. Those are all... That one's already done. Let's see here. What else should we upgrade if we can upgrade anything? Hang on. Was Didn't the Widow have, like, the, the not greatest stock? Oh, it does. Never mind. wonder what I was thinking of. Let's see. I feel like that one's pretty upgraded. I don't know what else that could really use. I think advanced receiver is the best one you can hope for. And I don't think, well, I was about to say, I don't think we can. Oh, we can upgrade some of this. We can give that the long stock and the drum mag. All right, let's go ahead and give you the lock, the full stock. It's an improvement. I don't use that yet, but before long, we're gonna start getting much more ammo. See, we're only at 269 right now. That's not that good. Uh, but before too much longer, it'll start giving us much more ammo for it. So for now, it's not much of an option, but it will be. All right, people, into the power armor. I'm ready. There you go, everybody. Decided to play Tin Soldier, ma'am. You think you're funny, Gloric? Is that what you think? He's like, I think I'm freaking hilarious. All right, we have 65 fusion cores, which is also pretty sweet. Now, let's go ahead and, uh, Gloric's tr doing his best to troll me as usual. Standing right in front of whatever I want to look at or, or loot or whatever. There we go. I was about to say, I think I had something to cook, and I did have one thing to cook. Not a lot, but something. Wasn't there like a, a, a quick enter? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think if there is, I don't remember. How, I've done it once, I think, on accident. I don't know if it's random or what, but I think once I've done like, like, like a quick enter, so she like jumped in super fast. I'd be like, how do I do that all the time? Okay, uh, first things first. Hit this, turn on glowing C. The time is now. We'll start working our way that direction. It's a long walk, but, I mean, you know, we have nowhere else to be, so. We have nowhere else to be. And there's there's lots of places to discover between here and there. And uh, we're pretty safe and pretty tanky power armor. We're almost leveled up again. So, you know, lots of good stuff coming, man. Which would be pretty nice. Ah, uh, delicious. I wonder if we should grab carry weight in this next one. Or if we should grab, like, work on endurance to head towards uh, Cannibal. I, that's what I'm thinking we should do, is work on heading towards Cannibal and... What's the other one? It's Cannibal and Ghoulish. I wonder if we should be working on heading towards those. Wouldn't be a bad idea. There's a couple things to discover as we more or less work our way that direction. The good news about Power Armor... You have no fall damage. Which means we can just jump off things willy-nilly with no fear. And our carry weight is way, way higher in power armor. So that'll help. I think coffee tin is ceramic or something. All right, let's go ahead and discover this because we're right here. Fragmine. Also a bloat fly. Wow, you see his matrix dodge in my bullet? All right, that one I just missed. I take responsibility. There we go. Still, the Matrix Dodge was pretty sweet. Okay. Greater Mass Blood Clinic. Oh, there's bugs in here. Disgusting. Oh, I agree. Oh, man, I am happy. Unfortunately, I am equipped with one of those because I am in a puke. Oh, I missed. Luckily for that bug. Yeah, this place is full of bugs. Oh, it's so gross, dude. So gross, dude. Oh, cool. other thing. The light on your power armor. Look at it. It's like a little spotlight. It's so cute. No matter how many bugs you kill, there's always more. Kind of hit firing, but we got it done. Ah! 
we're fine. They're only super disgusting, scarring bugs. Ooh, blood clinic key. I'm always a fan of keys. Eventually, they'll unlock something. And boy, I'll be there. Anything super good? Ooh. Grenades. Grenades are super good. Bottle caps. Those are super good. There's food, but we don't really need more food. Weight-wise. The weight wouldn't allow it. Okay. Let's see if I can squeeze through there. Wrong way. Oh, jeez. I thought... I didn't think you were alive. Didn't realize you were an animate object. The good news is... Oh, there's a monkey behind us. I hate them things. It makes me feel like they're laughing at me. Hey, shut up, monkey. I literally, it's like always have it. I always shoot them things in the face every time. Literally every time. Empty blood pack. Do one of those. That has ammo. That's always good. All right, watch out, dude. I got to open this thing. First things first. Oh, there's another one. All right. It's just by chance, man. It's complete chance. Eventually. So there we go. See, what did I just say? Again, I don't think blood clinic password added. Oh. See that that's why you always click on everything even if it even if you don't think it'll necessarily lead anywhere. That's why you always click on everything. Beautiful. Oh, how about that? I'm assuming the basement is probably full of something. Oh dear. That's for you, you disgusting creature. But I leveled up! Okay, so we already have the level 3 on that. We don't have the level 4 it, and we don't have the adhesive anyway, so it's not that bad. We could grab the next level of Black Widow, or we could just sort of work our way down the Endurance Tree, and that's the plan. Down the Endurance Tree we go. Oh, there you are. Oops. Oh! Yeah, that's my bad, dude. I was trying to do that? Yeah, still not great. Oh, jeez, you came after me. I thought you would go after Glory. Woo, sorry, Glory. I shredded you. <laughs> sorry, dude. My, I, my upgrades aren't in pistols, and I wanted to use it, even though it probably wasn't the smartest plan. See? Look at all the rads in here. If you find any spare parts, you be sure and let me know. Yes, yes. Uh, ooh, shotgun. Well. Those are good. Blood pack. Ooh, there's a fancy button to push, which we'll push in a minute. And we'll be ready with probably a shotgun in hand. Uh, okay. All right. Check it out, people. We can now hold 32 shots in one. Hmm. Still don't trust it. Really? It's just empty. Blood pack, blood pack, blood pack, psycho blood pack. Chem stash. There's so much blood in here, dude. Ah, oh, that was just. <laughs> I had a controller malfunction. <laughs> or a brain malfunction, one or the other. Maybe both, let's be honest. Look at all the drugs. This is why it's good news to. a good idea to wear, uh. Wow, look at all the blood packs. And right away. Oh my gosh, holy blood packs. Look, Jet. 
Glork, please, you're giving me a seizure. It's like, Glork, please, you're gonna give me a brain aneurysm. Alright, let's go, people. We got lots of good swag. Let's leave. Okay. Well, while we're more or less wandering this direction, first we can turn off our spotlight. Right over here is a, uh, whatchamacallit, so I say we go look at it. You're like, hey, wait, why are you holding your grenade launcher? Or missile launcher? Pretty sure, if memory serves, I don't know if it's this area or a different one, but someplace over here, I think there's there's a few, there's a Yawgwai or two. It might be right over that rock. Over there somewhere. It might not be this, this area specifically. But somewhere over in this area, I'm almost thinking it might be around a few corners. There is a Yawgwai. I don't know if this will be full of death or not. But I'm not seeing Yaguai, so we could just switch back to regular weaponry. Do do do. No 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 no. Boston Memorial, Mayorial, not Memorial. It's Mayorial Shelter. Boston's mayor. Lots of people died here. There's actually a per some pretty cool stuff in there. At some point, we'll have to check it out. There you go. Oh look, one that it'll let you use in power armor. Unlock that door, yo. Interesting. Cool. Well, we're getting lots of good experience for doing this stuff, so. Question is, should we press on or dump our inventory? I don't know how full's our inventory. Oh. <laughs> We're not dumping our inventory, I can tell you that. Alright, let's go. Plus, we do have Gloric, so we can continue going. Hey. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Glad to You be often have to do it twice. I don't know why, but you often have to do it twice. Here. Hold that. Alright, with me. Follow me. We continue on. Plus, we look super cool running around in our power armor. We look like something from Warhammer. 40k, specifically, not like fantasy. Something from 40k. Oh, this might be the place with the... Maybe not. Oh, that was Glorik. For a second, I was like, I was right! But no. No, I wasn't. This is like day four of being lost in the wilderness. What are this? Oh, it's an eye. It's an eye. One of those. One of those little pods that we built. Interesting. Uh, we already have an assaultron torso. We'll drop that in a minute. Scavengers journal. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, first let's go. Uh, first let's drop that mod. Drop that. The standard capacitor. If it's standard, we don't need it. So drop that. Now let's go. It was the Scavenger's Journal. Alright, these schematics were one hell of a find. If this thing works, it's gonna, I'm going to be rich. Just need to hire some mercs to tail the iBot and snag whatever it finds. Suppose I'll have to give them a cut. 10 or 20% ought to be enough. Wish I wouldn't didn't have to build this thing all the way out here, though. I swear those crazy bots have been following me since I left Good Neighbor. What the hell do they want? <laughs> the irony, of course, is that they killed him, obviously. Jury rigged iBot pod. So I can see if I can shove Glorik out of the way. Wow, he's literally blocking the screen. Hey, you moron. You want to, like, move? Hey, move here. Move. Idiot. Alright, uh, we could tell him scan for ammo. Let's see. 308, 44, 556. Game around, railroad spike, shotgun shells. Uh, I don't really know what I need. Is 556 five, what our big old rifle shoots that we're not very high on? Sure. There you go. Go find me some 556. Five, Make it so. 
I don't have to. I don't have to actually follow him. My uh, thing will tell me what he finds. And we continue on. Our quest leads ever onward, as we travel south through the wilderness. Well, obviously, I mean, it's going well. We've found good loot. We're leveling up. We're discovering lots of locations. So, lots of good things. There's a big old factory over here. And there's like a city and a whole bunch of stuff over here. I don't know if there'll be anything hostile. There probably will be. Oh, look. What did I just say? Oh, I like Grace's shoulder blade. That's awkward. There, didn't Grace crap that time. I hit that guy, but it didn't kill him. Oh! What a shot. Pretty proud of that. Nope. Darn it. Get off me, you little punk. That's right. I don't even need no stinking scope. <laughs> just punch him and then just no scope him. Granted, the first one, the barrel was in his chest, but the other ones weren't. Hey, that guy had glue on him. Worth. Anyway. Still, I got a few good kills. Poseidon Reservoir. Yeah, we'll take the bottle cap at least. Mostly, I'm just interested in discovering a lot of things because it'll make a lot of it'll make finding stuff easy, like later easier. We're already on a mission. Whoa! Was a pretty lucky hip fire shot, but I hit blew his arm off, so it stunned him. Eh, we'll take the ladle, but that might just be steel or plastic or aluminum or something. Actually, I think aluminum is highlighted. It's probably not aluminum. Oh my gosh, the lag. All right, we're good. Let's give it a save. It's lagging a lot. Hang on. Save. Okay. We're good. All right. Let's discover whatever... Uh... Oh. He was just about to make some food. All right, I graze his shoulder. That's my bad. Graze his second other shoulder. There. I graze his heart that time. Oh. Let's say kill that dude before he can fire another one. You missed twice, and I killed you before you shot me with it. Screw you, nerd. Oh, there he is. Here, hold that. Yeah, I hit him the second time with it. I'm coming for that booty. Got him. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. Oh, don't you worry, Gloric. I'm a looting I'm a, I'm a looting veteran. I've been looting before you were even born, boy. He's like, I mean, well, technically, but really I was more created rather than born. But like you're splitting hairs, forget about it, alright? Forget about it. There you are. Give me your missiles, idiot. Oh, I didn't want your stupid missile launcher. I already have one. Uh, drop that. I don't need that garbage. I don't need that garbage. Tell you what, though. If we ever find our, uh, if we ever find, uh, oh, it's empty. For a second, I was like, whoa! But if we ever find, um, a railway rifle, uh, rather than... Yeah, if we ever find a railway rifle, we will absolutely switch that for our missile launcher. Sweet. We'll definitely trade a missile launcher for... There's a few guns, which will definitely be an improvement. So that we'll absolutely switch to. If we find it. If, if we find any. I don't know if we will or not. But if we happen to, we'll switch. There's a few things we'll, we'll switch for. I was about to say, I was still going to disarm it. I had enough time, but then I wondered if I did, and I hesitated, and that was the end of that. Natrick Banks. Interesting.
There's a, some landmines over there. There's also some sort of pond this direction. Oh, I was hoping it would let me discover it. You guys want to see what happens when you walk underwater in power armor? This is what happens. So it you can still breathe underwater, but you move like this underwater. So, you know, slow is all death. Ugh. There we go. Got what I wanted. We can leave. I was trying to... I want to discover it. It's free experience and we're standing... We're practically standing on top of it, so worth it. You want to see what it looks like when you, like, walk out of the water, though? You look, well, you look, like, so sick. Just, like, walking out of the water. We look so cool. Alright, turn off the light. Obviously, it's daylight. It's not helping that much. We'll see if we can discover this, like, police station, too. Uh, yeah, I think we can... Oh, you stupid thing. It was gonna, like, jump, and then it, like, thought better of it. And that see, second time it did it. Now, wow, see, now it's just like, you're never gonna leave, boy. I'm gonna get out of this. You can't, you can't keep me here forever. Nailed it. Up yours, man. Ha! Ha-ha! I proved to you which one of us was evolved. All right. Ooh, a hot plate. You can't kick that out of the way. Give me that. That's my screw. That's my screw. All right. Uh, ugh. nailed it. Let's see if I can kind of work my way up this way. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. You know you want it. Let me out. Let me out. Yes, come on. No. <laughs> Why would you let me go up that high if you were just going to spit in my face? Hmm? Oh, hang on. Might have found another way up. Yeah, I found another way up. All right, we can go back down now. Once again, I got what I wanted. Discovered some places. Now we can leave. We're going to try to avoid going into the deep water because it's so slow. Oh, lag spike. Anyway, because it's so slow. I'm going to try to avoid sliding down into the deep. Funny, I just turn and there's like a death claw or something. I'm just like, holy! Radstag. We don't need Radstag. I don't mean your people any harm. Although we could kill them and take some hide. There's a lot of leather in these things. Well, well, well. Alright. Sorry, Rad Radstags. I need I actually do need you after all. And we're gonna get something that I can shoot all of you with it. That Yay! Worth. Well, that worked out. We got there's a lot of hide. I think think that's like 15 leather. I think because I think each uh, radstag hide gives you five leather a piece. I think. Me thinks. At you know at, at a guess, obviously. We're gonna go discover this because again we're right here. Up. Look a death clock. Do you think we can kill him before he reaches us? You think we're gonna try? Ooh, that he felt that. Hey, there's a rad scorpion up there too. Just like that, you're dead. He blew his face off. There's also a rad scorpion up there. Oh, dude, there's more. There's more leather. More leather. Hey, rad scorpion. You guys want to see something weird? Rad scorpions are this weird thing where... See what I mean? Oh, you were the... You're, you're still the death pot. But yeah, they do this weird thing where... If you're looking at them, they know. 
<laughs> so if you like, I've done it before where I was like, ooh, look around, Scorpion. I can kill it before it reaches me. And I do this and look through the scope. The second my scope got on him, they like immediately jump up and just attack you. Like every time. And so it, it's just kind of weird because, yeah, they do that weird thing where they just know. They're like, he's staring at me. And I'm just like, yeah. Yes, yes, he was. Oh, guys, we're, we're, we're getting warmer. The rads have already begun. And it's a pity, because we're so close. We're going to try and discover it anyway, but... Oh, never mind. We're about to have company. See, this is why we wore power armor. Wow, there is a lot of stuff in the glowing sea. Federal supply cache, 84, 84 NE. I don't know if that's supposed to be like part of the, part of the words or not. We'll see if there's anything super juicy. Oh, that probably has like a screw in it. Yeah, I can't open that. I don't have the ability for it, and Glork won't be able to open it at all. Because although supposedly he has a lockpicking module, he never uses it either. Ooh, look at all the, the dumbbells. The dumbbells are only good because they uh, give you a lot of lead. So if you are looking for lead to make, uh, make ammo, they're super, super good. But of course, we're not actually making ammo at the moment, and... Mo the other problem is they weigh about 95 billion pounds, so that's the other biggest problem with le with uh, like dumbbells and stuff is they weigh so much, so they're not they're not they're not all that worth it. I kind of want to go like super east because over here somewhere should have been something that said like edge of the glowing sea, and I kind of wouldn't mind discovering that. It might be that cave looking thing right there, so we'll kind of head that direction. Yeah, this is only not that bad because uh, we're in power armor. Otherwise, the glowing sea is a much more difficult place. Plus, there's this thing is full. It's full of uh, rad scorpions. Like e everything that's everything has like radiation damage and such things. That was that. That was my that was my thing. Yeah, telling me that my my fusion core is at 25. percent Luckily, we have 68 fusion cores, so we're not exactly sweating it. Wow, we're actually already farther in than I actually thought we were. Get him, Glorik. Wow, that was a pinpoint accurate shot. You should be proud. Yeah, it's no secret I can't hit these things. Hey, there we go. I hit one. How about that? Oh, I don't think this is the edge of the glowing sea. I think it's farther north. I think it's that direction. But now that we're already right here, we might as well discover it, but... Somewhere over there, there's a there's a death claw that patrols this area. But of course, we already saw we crushed a death claw once. Thanks for showing up, idiot. Again, we've already discovered it at this point, so you might as well discovered cave. Like I just said, cave. Has anyone else felt that rumble? <laughs> Look, I swore I just felt a rumble. All right. First of all, let's take a. Uh, Rad X to help us resist some of this rad, some of the rads here. Oh look! Wow, get dome, idiot! Ooh, hide and hand, dude. It's worth so much leather, dude. Yeah, we had got so much leather from that. So they'll say, yeah, that was the death cloth that patrols this area that I was talking about a second ago. See, what did I just say? Dun 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 Yeah, this is so much less ter it's so not nearly as terrifying when you uh, are in power armor. Power armor has that effect, man, where it just makes you feel like invincible. You just feel so safe. Despite what like you you know, what may be in front of you or whatever, you just feel so secure. We'll discover this because we're right here and we'll just continue on. I was gonna say, we're not actually going inside. Capsize factory, yeah. The glowing sea is 
It's a it's it's a scary place, man. It is a scary place. Look, there's a rat scorpion. We're not that far from what's over here. I'm tempted to discover it because we're getting lots of lots of free XP from discovering things. And eventually, I wouldn't mind going back. The 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 glowing sea is one of the few things that like I rarely I've rarely seen any of because I rarely go in here because of all the rats. But eventually, even after we're past our power armor stage, we will have uh, like perks that makes radiation so much more manageable and stuff. That uh, it's one of those things. Atlantic offices, interesting. Anyway, um, but eventually I wouldn't mind going back and looking around. That, like, radi rads will be easier to deal with, and when that time comes, I wouldn't mind looking around a little more in the Glowing Sea, because there's a lot of stuff in here. Like, as you can see, there's lots of locations that I've never really discovered very much of, just because, you know, don't, don't explore very much of the Glowing Sea. So it's pretty cool to be in here, and far less terrifying when you're in power armor. There is a feral ghoul. Beautiful shot by yours truly. Dude, it's like Nazi zombies, dude. You're wrecked. I like how the music's all triumphant. You did it. I'm like, yeah, I did do it. Yeah, that was like straight up Nazi zombies, man. <laughs> like straight up Nazi zombies, dude. There were so many. And one of them got hit directly with it. As you can see, he's over here. There we go. He's over here burning, so one of them was an amazing shot. As you can see, there you get about 50 million rads when you stand in the puddles, as you might imagine. That didn't feel very good, but it's fine. Because we're getting there. See what I mean? It's stuff like that. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's one of those things that there's something way up on the hill. Like, there's just stuff like that that I just haven't seen. And I wouldn't mind, you know? Seeing more of the glowing sea, of seeing the more of the locations, because it's kind of this enigma that eventually we're we're gonna see more of, I imagine. Ah, uh, imagine hiking up this giant glowing mountain. The glowing sea is just this giant fog of rads and and creepiness. Fun fact: rads and creepiness. The name of my first short story collection. There you go. <laughs> Well, well, behold, something creepy. If the symbol is just Crater of Adam, as you can see, this it's just this, like, super creepy in here. It's super creepy. We'll need to take Rad away as soon as we get up farther. Or Rad X, or I know, actually, I think, I think Rad away is the one that gets rid of it, and Rad X is the one that, like, prepares you for it. Something like that. So this is actually a pretty cool point in our uh, in our RP because these are a faction known as the Children of Adam. Um, they're kind of crazy people. They they like worship, like they believe that Adam is this creator and that rads are a good thing. Um, now here's the thing though is that like this is an important point in our character's RP because this will be her first meeting with the Children of Adam as a faction. Now the Children of Adam as a faction, she's gonna be like, okay, like at first she's like these people are nuts, but. Like, them existing should be impossible. There's so many rads in here, they should all be dead. So, and part of her wonders, like, like, so they must have a secret. They must be onto something. They must have a secret of some form. There must be something to them because they're not all dead. Like, they live in the glowing sea. Like, so it's just, so that's part of her wondering. Like, so is there something to them? Like, them, they must have a secret that they're hiding or whatever. And so this is an important uh, moment in our RP. So that's, so that's pretty cool that way. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Adam, to be split in his infinite glory, or do you seek to tear down his followers? I'm only looking for this dude. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. 
I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Thank you. But yeah, it's stuff like that. She's like, like, look how intact that that woman looked by comparison. It's just like, you know, clearly, clearly these people, they're, they're, there's some sort of secret to them, right? Yeah, we went a little far up this way, but that other way looked looked a little steeper. Maybe I was wrong, or maybe I should have just gone this way. Oh, come on. Don't you do this to me. Thank you. Yeah, that was that was a stupid. Should have absolutely gone this way. I don't know what I was smoking. I have this light. I think that was the song that was playing last. Stuck in me head. We look so cool. Just like trucking across the wilderness. In our power armor, rifle in hand. I've I've heard that some people that just play third person, I find third person difficult. Like I like I like switching to it, uh, just to like remind remind myself how cool I look. Seeing my character, seeing my armor. I like doing it occasionally. Sometimes when I walk like this, there's nothing much going on. I like switching to third person. Uh, but otherwise, I don't I rarely do it. Otherwise, I, I like if I'm playing like for actual playing purposes, I play first person just because it's so much easier. I, f you f I feel like I'm much more capable playing third person. I feel like it can be hard to aim or hard to shoot or whatever. Oh, well, Glorix shooting at those sting wings. I can't help you, dude. You're behind the rock. Good thing too, because clearly I wasn't doing very well in the let's snipe him out of the air thing. That's the reason I wasn't like pumping it, pumping rounds into the air, because I had zero expectation of hitting him. I was like, I'm never gonna reach him, so let's like let's not waste the waste the ammo. I appreciate the concern, Gloric, but uh, it's you know we have no choice. So in case you're wondering why I'm going so high above and then going down. Sleeping in the bottom of this little canyon is a death claw. Now, as you can see, we've destroyed like four death claws on the way here, so it's not that big a deal. See what I mean? There he is. Um, and we could just drop a bomb on his face, which I guess we could, because there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, come on, he can't stop us. Normally, I avoid him, but you feel that, idiot? Eh, that one wasn't very good. Kobe! Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> he got scared. That's right. Run, you miserable coward. Whoa! I think there's a car over there that Glorick shot. Well played, Glorick. But yeah, there's a, that's usually the, that, this, that's, uh, the reason I almost always like go so high above and stuff. It's because there's a death cloud that sleeps down there. Normally I avoid him. But obviously this time it didn't matter. I'll take the... We'll leave the meat. The meat's heavy, but I'll take the hide... It'll give me uh, lots of good leather. All right, in we go. In we go. We'll say how howdy to Virgil. All right, we have to remember stay in character. Remember who we are, what we stand for. Okay. Uh, first, before any of that, though, let's dump that, and then let's have the rad scorpion meat to drop the weight a little bit. Then we'll go ahead and get back. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab this. I feel like it's more, makes more sense. Hold Hi. It. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. What's funny is he's like, I know you're from the Institute, as he says, while I'm standing in Brotherhood armor with a Brotherhood symbol on my chest. Oh, yeah, you're right. From the Institute. Uh, I'm just here to talk. I'm like, chill, dude. So, then talk. Fast. Uh, you have information I need. And yet I have no idea who the hell you are. You don't have I to know who I am, boy. better start explaining. You start. Uh, 
It doesn't matter. What does matter is what you know about the Institute. The Institute? So... They did send you, didn't they? You working with Kellogg. Kellogg's been taken care of. Dead. He's dead. Don't mm -hmm. you lie to me. Uh. He's dead, whether you believe me or not. There's no question it's difficult to believe. I'm like, I don't care if you believe me, Kellogg dude. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? When Is that hard to believe? With me. Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? I need whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? Guess you'll never know. That doesn't matter. Fine. You know what? I don't even want to know. You want to get yourself killed as you I'm like, probably, I'm not telling you. But I'm telling you. That's what's going to happen. I can help you get in there. But I want something in return. Uh... What do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my... condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab, and... Well... Look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? I mean, I say I, I need him, so it's a deal. You help me, and I'll help you. All right. All right. Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? Uh, I... And for this character, I'm not sure. I don't really know. But it doesn't sound familiar. Not surprising. They don't come out often. And when they do, few see them. Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay. Let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. 
You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. All right, progress. Progress. All right, come on, Gloric. First, we have to get back home. We got lots of good stuff to drop off. We have lots of good stuff to drop off. All right. First, back on home. As you can see where we are, uh, we're at the very bottom of the map. And there is the Crater of Adam on the corner there. There is the few locations inside the Glowing Ruins, which we discovered. Now, normally, uh, I'm usually, I've usually discovered more of this area first. So I often end up going this way, because your, te your technical objective marker is actually, like, right here or something. And so you go there, there is, it says, like, Edge of Glowing Sea or whatever. You discover it, and then you go in. Now, this time was different, because I hadn't discovered anything over here. So we went from above and down, as you can see our path. So that's why we discovered all of this, and then went down. So it was different than how I normally do it, but, you know, whatever. It, it, it makes no difference. It obviously doesn't matter because, you know, we still got there, so it doesn't matter exactly how or, you know, if the route's the same because we still did it, so it's fine. And we are approaching level 27, which is fantastic. So we I don't want to go too, too fast on... Uh, I don't want to go too quickly on the main story, but at the same time, I am also thinking, like, am I, like, overly... Like, am I hesitating too much? So, you know. Hey, look, we have the we have the five five six ammo. Oh, hang on, wrong one. I actually need all that back, Glork. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Oops. Darn it, I did it again. Gimme that. Shut up, Kate. There we go. All right, now we can deposit this stuff. Beautiful. Now, as far as aid is concerned, I'm willing to bet. Yeah, we can drop off that for sure. Drop off one of those. Let's see here. We can well we'll we'll cook that for the experience, so for now we'll just drop it, it doesn't matter. That only that's only worth ten, not worth that much. Oh, we're actually low on oh wait, no, we're actually super high on jet. We actually get we actually normally carry ten, so we can drop those. We can drop off one of the mutt chops. We can drop off the regular Nuka Cola. We're carrying drop off both the psychos. We're low on those. We'll cook the Rad stag meat, but we'll deposit it. We'll, de we'll hold on to that. There we go. Eh, it's better. All right, now let's go to the top of our weapons here. I'm certain we're probably holding mines, which we don't need. Uh, yeah, drop off from that mine. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, hop on out of the armor here. Up. Okay, well first, let's go ahead and click on it here to make sure that we're all good. I'm assuming like health-wise we're pretty good. Yeah. What does it cost to fix this thing? Okay, it's not bad. Well, we can go ahead. Whoops. Oh, that one's full health. The rest of them are full health. So yeah, it was pretty much full health. We can also change uh, the already Model B, which is cool. After we get different, uh, different uh, power armor, we can change our, our little headlamp color, which is super cool. But we we got a lot of leather back there, so let's go ahead and upgrade our the crap out of our stuff here. Let's get studded leather. Now the thing is, we're low on uh, on our pocketed stuff, so that's a thing. All right, these ones don't have pocketed, so pocketed is you know concern number one. And we had just enough adhesive to make everything pocketed. So those are all studded already. That's standard, but we don't have... Yeah, we don't have enough. Now, we have... Looks like we have a, just the mod boiled leather already. So, I mean, we can go ahead and put it to that, because if we already have the mod, there's no reason not to. But the point is, our whole outfit is pocketed officially. Now, most of our stuff is uh, studded now. Two of them are studded. We have two girded and one boiled. So we're kind of working up to an even set of studded armor, but... A lot of our stuff is looking better and better, and even without our power armor, our carry weight is now to 315, which comparatively is pretty good. 
So, you know, considering where we were not long ago. So, you know, that's a thing. Sweet. Okay. Very cool. All right. Alrighty, so we could travel to CIET, but time-wise, we're a little bit low to be going into a main story, to be hopping into main story like that. We're, we're a little bit low on that. Destroy the rogue robot. Let's see. Uh, the possible police rationing site, technical documents for Proctor Quinlan. Oh, we could turn that in. Let, let, let's go ahead and do that. We've picked up a lot of uh, technical documents, so let's go ahead and head on back to the Pridwin and turn in all of them. Get a get us get us a stack of change, which will be pretty sweet. Which will be pretty sweet, and we are approaching level 27, which is 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 super cool. Which is awesome. And then next time, I don't know if we will press on with our main story or if we will or if we'll opt for something else. We might. We'll have to we'll just have to see what happens. We'll just have to see what happens. You know, we don't even need to even carry our gun out, honestly. We can actually even we can even we can even run around in third person. Just because, you know. Just because it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna be seeing any combat, so. It'll be kinda weird running around in third person, though. It's kinda kind of confusing a little bit but it's just funny because I'm like obviously I'm uh, obviously I'm allied with the Brotherhood you know I'm actually a knight I'm a ranked knight inside the Brotherhood so it's just funny that I'm all running around in my like leather armor I definitely I look like a raider like a maybe a, a more skilled Attention. raider but Any skilled who have not nonetheless yet received a field assignment from Proctor Teagan should speak to him at once hey. that is all ah, knight. you have technical documents or looking to assist on a research patrol? I have documents. I found some technical documents for you. Splendid. I'll put them to use right away. Here are the caps that I have. Hey, 225. Remember, so much money. Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check oh, so true. you explore during your patrol. Yes, we've seen it. Worth. Okay, now let's go ahead and unhighlight it so that it's not constantly telling me to go back to the Pred one. Beautiful. Oh, actually, we, we can't teleport out of here. We'll have to run back to the entrance. It'll be cool once our stuff is all studded. Is it one of our legs that's studded, or is it just our arm? I can't tell. I can't see my right leg very well. Obviously, one of our shoulder, one of our shoulders are all studded. Obviously, command deck. Yeah, I think that's how you. I think it's how you leave. Pretty sure it's how you leave. The fun fact is, when you're in power armor, you can just jump off the edge. Excuse me. Uh, you can, when you go to the flight deck out here, you can just leap over the side and hit the ground like a meteor. And, uh, and obviously you still get no fall damage, which is pretty sweet. But, you know. Yeah, you can just hop, you just go like, alright, see you on the ground, and you just leap over. But obviously, without power armor, that is a very quick way to kill yourself, so, you know, that's less than ideal. Lots of good stuff has been highlighted. Lots of places to go, lots of places to see, but regardless, that'll be a great place for us to call it. Well, we finally made our way to the Glowing Sea, and we finally met Virgil, which is all great stuff. So first, let's go ahead and delete our old saves here. All of them, all of them. Beautiful. All right. But yeah, we finally made our way to the Glowing Sea and to Virgil, which is super good. We got access to a uh, the iBot pods which are good speaking of which let's actually run back to sanctuary i was going to save it right there but we're going to run back to sanctuary and we're going to tell the bot to go find something else just so it's ready to go when when we are so we'll go ahead and run and do that while it's on the brain but we got uh we got the uh the schematics that we need for those for those which is pretty sweet and uh yeah so just lots of good stuff has been accomplished we finally know that uh, obviously that we know that they use a teleporter to get in and out of the institute and so now we have a lead on, uh, on you know, making our, our way inside. So that's really convenient. So good stuff, man. Good stuff was accomplished. Let's go ahead and tell it to go find something. Probably, honestly, almost tempted to tell it to go find more adhesive because that's what we're always out of. So. so there you go. Go find me more adhesive, boy. You did really good the first time, so. There, there he goes. Good luck, little dude. Sweet. Once we drop our, our missile launcher, we'll be a lot lighter. We can also actually cook some things, because we did find some things to cook. It'll be lots of good free experience. 
Deathclaw Steak. Grilled Radstag. I think that might, yeah, I was about to say, I think that's probably it. But it was uh, lots of good, uh, it was a free experience. So I don't know if we need to carry all that because that's a lot of heavy, super heavy food items that we probably don't need. But, you know, uh, let's see here. We can put the Deathclaw Steak back and the Rad Stag. We can drop like three of them. Uh, otherwise, I think we're probably okay. These ones are only worth 10. They're not that good. Let's drop four of them. Like I said, they only weigh like less, like they're 0 0.1, so they are, they almost don't even weigh anything either, so, you know. That almost doesn't weigh anything, and it's 45, so that one's actually good. Oh, we can drop one stealth boy. We only need to carry five. Beautiful. That's better. All right, now we can give it a save after we wipe our old saves. But anyway, we made lots of good progress, and now we're lined up to go take down a courser, which will be super, super cool. Which will be a super cool. So, yeah. And uh, lots of good progress was made. And uh, as far as what's coming next, so tomorrow should be regular, uh, as far as I know, which is really, really cool. Now, tomorrow, uh, so tonight, I'm going to fix the little faux pas that I made on uh, Doki Doki Literature Club and get us back to the point so that tomorrow we can be where we need to be. So that's my bad. But I'll fix that tonight, off camera, obviously. And then, so tomorrow will be good to go. Now, tomorrow might be an extra long episode of that, and this game might take a back seat a little bit. Um, this game might get a little shorter part, and that other one might be longer. Um, just because uh, after tomorrow's run, we'll, we'll be starting our Sayori run. And f when we do that one, we'll be just pressing on. We don't have to stop where we've previously been stopping. Uh, and so uh, tomorrow might be really, really long. Tomorrow might be the final episode of that, uh, or second to final episode. But it'll be. But we're getting very close to being done. So tomorrow's uh, tomorrow that game gets higher priority, and we'll just have to see what happens with it. Uh, but mostly we'll just play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Anyway, though, that is gonna call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later.